Hey YouTube, Mark here. Uh, I'm still working on that uh, microphone project that I started a few days back, a week ago. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm getting ready to uh, try to figure out how to mount this on the helmet. Um, but I need to get the case going. Ugh. Just putting the, uh, the GoPro in its regular case. But what I need to do is I need to got the uh, ports on the back side here. And what I need to do is I need to mark the uh, port for the for the head or for the uh, microphone because I got to put this through the plastic. So I need to actually actually the holes are on this side. So I need to find and mark the hole on the casing here. I'm just trying to line it up best I can. Blowing on it to dry the ink a little bit. <laughs> okay, so so there's my mark on the on the microphone jack. In fact Maybe now you can see it a little bit better. There's the hole on the microphone jack right there. And I've looked at the... Now, when I go to plug it in, I can't just drill a hole for this little metal part, okay? The, the casing is going to overlap onto the, the, the black rubbery part here. So I actually need to drill a hole about the same diameter as this part here, okay? So not this part, this part. And I've already found a drill bit that I think was gonna work. It's a 5 16 inch drill bit. So let's drill a hole. All right, I'm just trying to line it up best I can. Try to get it centered. exactly centered but it's working it is going through just I think I just have a dull bit really <laughs> it's getting there <laughs> okay on the inside you can see in there but on the inside here <sighs> um, it kind of flaked up a little bit and uh, pushed some plastic out so I'm actually just going to take a razor blade and just kind of reach in there and try to cut those little pieces of plastic off now I got to be careful of the lens part here but if the side gets smart up I don't really care but I still want to try to make it as clean as possible. In fact, in order to do this, I'm going to take off this little bit of a mount. That way I can open the door up all the way. I'm just going to stick the, the razor blade in there. Of course it's a new razor blade too so it's nice and sharp all right that was it that's all I had to do so now if I measured right when I plug in the cord is going to go in there nice and easy now of course because I cut this it's no longer waterproof but uh, I ended up drilling small holes around the casing anyway because I was getting fogging happening up on my lens when I was riding. So I actually uh, drilled some small holes in the case to get some air circulation in there to keep it from fogging. So yeah, I like that. That fits in there nice. It comes in and out very easily. Let's try to put the camera in. Get it sealed up. 
we'll pretend that it's on the helmet and ready to go. And hopefully, yep, fits in there really good. I did have it off just a little bit, but not horrible. So yeah, that fits in there really well. All right, now I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna mount it in my helmet. So that's the next step. Okay, so I've got the GoPro sitting right here. And then I got the microphone coming up and it's actually attached to the, uh, the chin strap here. So I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. Hmm. I can actually feel the microphone right up against my, or actually it's, it's way up by my ear. All right, let's, uh... All right, so now I'm recording on the GoPro and uh, we'll just talk for a little bit, see how the sound quality is. It could be a thing that it's just so muffled and stuff that you're not gonna be able to hear me because it's packed so far back there. But at the same time, the sound could be traveling through my uh, my cheek and stuff like that. And it might turn out really good. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of those things. I won't know until I actually look at the footage. But this is my first setup. Not my ideal spot of where I would like it to be. But uh, we're going to give it a shot. So let's turn this off now. And then... Uh... Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it off. I'm going to put it in another spot. I'd like to try it up here. Um, I might even try it on the other side. I'm just going to keep on playing with it until I find what I think could be a, a viable spot that gives me good sound. I would like to try to get it like right back in this area. But again, I don't want it open to the wind. So I don't know. I don't really want to cut the foam of my cheek pads either. So we'll see what happens. Also, I don't like this spot either where it's at now because when I take my helmet on and off, you know, I can feel it rubbing rubbing up against my head and it kind of scratches just a wee little bit. All right, I'm going to reconfigure this and I'll get back to you. All right, configuration number two. Uh, same thing, same side, because I don't have a mount on this side. Um, I actually got the line coming in. And uh, I took off the clip this time, and I've just stuck it right here. So right now it's kind of getting fed behind the pad, and it's just kind of friction fitted into that location. So let's give it a shot. Well, that's nice. I can't feel anything. It's not pushing against my ear or anything like that. So we'll buckle it just like we would normally do. Reach up. Okay, so GoPro should be running. Got my glasses on. Yeah, okay, now I can see the light. <laughs> Don't have my glasses on, I can't see anything past just a few feet. So, you know, everything starts to get blurry. But uh, now I've got uh, GoPro going. Like I said, the microphone's right here. I am a little worried about having it exposed like that for when I'm riding because every so often I like to push the, the lid up, you know, the face shield, you know. I'm not going to have it down like this all the time. And I'm kind of curious too on how this is going to affect the sound going into the camera because, you know, it does echo in there a little bit. So it might sound a little tinny or, uh, you know, just might have some sort of a vibrato a little bit. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this, uh, this uh, setup goes. Turn off the GoPro. And I'll start playing with another idea on uh, how to get it all set up. Okay, position number three. It's very similar to position number one, but instead of having it clipped onto the strap, I've actually just got it sitting inside the, uh, the ear well. So I hope you can kind of see it in there. It's right there, my finger's touching it. But uh, we're gonna try this, see how the sound is. Again, I don't know if, I don't know if the, uh, turn the GoPro on. I don't know if 
having it hidden in there is again going to muffle the sound. Is it actually going to enhance the sound because it's passing through my cheek and it's closer to my throat and stuff like that. So again, another trial, just trying to figure out what's working, okay? So I like it. I'm not feeling it like I did when it was on the strap. So I'm liking it that way. Up here, I was a little bit worried that uh, my glasses could catch the cord, but I'm not really noticing anything. And again, I can get my glasses on just fine. So yeah. All right, well that's three different ones now. So I'm gonna take off the helmet. I'm actually gonna now upload the footage. I'm gonna upload the footage and actually see what I've got and see which one's working best. But of course, once I get out on the bike and out on the road at 55, 70 miles an hour, you know, things could change. Maybe it's a possibility that this cheap little uh, microphone just isn't going to cut it and I'll have to get something you know, bigger, better. Or I might have to get a full, um, what they call a dead cat. It's like, um, it's almost like a fur and uh, have the microphone sticking way out here on the, on the chin pad or on the cheek pad, but actually having it stick out and then cover it with the fur. I may end up having to do that. I don't want to. But uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe that little foam that they have on there, maybe that will work good enough and, uh, and I won't have an issue. <laughs> All right, let's look at some footage. Okay, um, this time, this is my fourth conversion. I kind of liked the way the sound was when I had it clipped onto the uh, chin strap here. But... Uh, it was just uncomfortable. You know, I could feel it up against my ear and stuff like that. So what I did is I actually pulled the, uh, the padding off. And I've actually stuck it right down here, right next to the, uh, the chin strap. But then I got the padding over it. That should, uh, you know, kind of help keep it in place. So that should be able to help keep it in place until, you know, as I'm going. And it also makes it nice and easy for me to uh, do any uh, modifications. You know, I can just pull it out if I have to, you know, if it's raining or something like that. So, yeah, we'll see how this uh, setup goes. And of course, I should be able to get my glasses on just fine. Should be able to... Button it up just fine. Okay, so I'll tuck the cords away later. Right now, I'm just trying to get out, get figured out where I want that microphone to sit. So, right now, again, it's sitting back here, um, right around the chin strap, but tucked underneath the uh, cheek pad itself. So I'm hoping that it gives me good quality sound, and it should be well protected from the wind back there. So. Yeah, I'm hoping this one works. Um, the, the other ones were working okay. One of them sounded a little muffled, of course. I gotta talk like this too. We'll see how the sound turns out. Um, I've only pulled down the viruser on one setup and that basically sounded like the way it sounds in here. Um, I just get a little bit of an echo type of uh, situation here. But uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, it seems to be working great. All right, so let's take this one off, give this one a listen, and see how it goes. All right, that one was weird. Um, as you can tell, I hit record and everything like that, but for some reason it uh, didn't get any sound through. I don't know if the wired, I just didn't push it in far enough or what, but it's definitely in there now. So same get up as before. It's the microphone is actually tucked behind the, uh, 
the chin strap, and behind the cheek pad. So we'll try this again. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't damage the microphone in doing all this. I don't think I did, but you never know. It's just a cheap little microphone. I think I paid maybe 20 bucks for it. So we're giving a good, good uh, go around here, talking a little bit in here. Hopefully it's uh, still sounding decent, at least uh, you know good quality to use. And um, like I said, the other thing that I'm kind of worried about is just the wind noise going by the helmet. How is that going to affect the microphone as well? I don't know until you know the time comes, but you know it's December here and it's freezing outside. <laughs> I don't have heated gear, so I can't go outside and just go for a ride and test it out. All right. All right, hopefully this one will uh, turn out a little bit better. Hopefully the microphone is still working. Just really baffles me on why it all of a sudden didn't record. Like I said, maybe it's just because I didn't push it in far enough. Let's find out. Okay, I don't know what's been going on. Um, my last couple of tests have not worked. I don't know if I damaged the microphone somehow. I didn't think I did. But uh, we're going to try it this way and see if I get any audio. Alright. All right, check, check, one, two, one, two. Okay, um, what's been going on, uh, I, I did a, you know, I took the GoPro out of the case, plugged it in with just the microphone with no case on there. I got sound just fine. So I figured what had happened, remember I said that my hole was just a little bit off? Well, what I did is I took my Dremel and I just slowly ground down the uh, the edge that uh, was kind of off and uh, so it's fits in there it's still good and everything like that but I think it was just kind of bending it just a little bit to where it wasn't making a good connection uh, in the GoPro so I should be ready to go and I think I'm gonna like the uh, placement of the microphone so I've already done up the cords and kind of hit them hit them away a little bit so I should be recording now. Got my chin strap on. There's a stamp. Now I should be getting, <laughs> been drinking soda, so now I got burps. So I should be getting pretty good sound out of the location here. And uh, like I said, it should be fairly well protected from the wind. And then I got the uh, visor I can put down. And uh, so I'm wondering how this is going to affect the sound on the microphone. I don't know if that vibrato from the visor is going to go back into that microphone or if it's just going to pick it up from uh, from my uh, my throat and my cheek area back here. Won't know until I uh, take it out and take a look at it, which I'm going to do now. Okay, I think we got a winner here. I'm liking the location. I like the sound that I'm getting out of it. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. You know, unless I have some issues popping up when I'm riding, for, but for now, uh, I like it right next to that uh, that chin strap. Like I said, it's covered. So I, I think I should be able to get a good sound out of here no matter uh, what I'm riding in. I hope <laughs> but uh, yeah like I said the, the only issue I had was I had to just kind of grind away at the uh, at the hole just a little bit just to elongate it just a little bit to get the uh, the plug to sit in there at a good angle so and then when I'm not using it I can uh, 
I can either take it out completely or I can just kind of weave it up into the into the helmet a little bit and just so it's not dangling down in front of me or anything like that but I think I'm gonna like uh, the way it's all set up um, so yeah this is Mark saying thanks again for watching see you on the road <laughs>